guys welcome to my channel my name is Brittany if you're new here and I am actually driving to school for our first day of school for the 2024-25 school year it has been quite a morning I'm not gonna lie pretty stressful yesterday my husband uh, last week he pulled something in his leg and he uh, pulled it again yesterday and so we had to take him to the ER and he's doing okay he's still in a lot of pain gonna use crutches and trying to get to work today but Isaiah and I are on our way early because I just love traffic um, and if I'm talking funny sorry I have a huge canker sore right here so it's just it's okay. It's just been a lot this morning. So if you are watching this and it has not been a good start to your year or you had a rough start to your first day or you're having a bad school day, just know you're not alone. Um, we are going to turn it around and we're going to have a good day. Isaiah is starting sixth grade this year. Still teaching fifth grade and loving it and I will show you my outfit when I get to school but I'm going to focus on Isaiah playing some music and here we go. Okay so we are into second period right now. We have first planning so we had to stay downstairs in the gym where we had a little pep rally at the beginning with our kids and read their names off to get their schedules to get them to specials and now we have 20 minutes because that took a while to eat my breakfast, just eggs and a Trader Joe's hash brown and some green peppers. <sighs> it's all good. Here's my outfit I didn't get to show you. These are Betsy Johnson pencil earrings. I have the bracelet as well. This is a, um, I'll put the video right here, but this is an outfit from this. My jumpsuit and some comfy shoes from Walmart that I got. So I'm gonna go because I have to make name cards. Sorry, I'm talking so fast. But we put their names on here, put them where they need to go. They take these everywhere so we can start learning names. They decorate them. I'm going to eat breakfast. Okay, so here is this how it's going to go. You are going to have a this or that where you can go on this side of the room. Everyone point over here. Or you're going to go to this side of the room. Okay? And it depends on what your preference is. So the first one is... Would you rather have reading all day? You're going to go over here. Math all day? You're going to go over here. You got to choose. You cannot be in the middle. You got to choose. I know. I'm sweating. Bring a jacket. All right. Next one. Would you like using markers or crayons? Hi. Come on in. Yeah, markers is over there. Mm -hmm. All right, next one. Would you rather write on a notebook or would you rather write on a tablet? See, I like pencil and paper. So it is the end of the day now and I have, which you can't, can't really tell, but I have so much to like, look at that, look at that. And I, my brain cannot start the day tomorrow with that. So before I leave, I'm going to clean up. Um, I did organize all the composition notebooks. So I need to go put those in the teacher's class the designated teachers. I need to breathe, first of all, and stop sweating, second. So, it was a good day, crazy, but good. It was good. And I'll just kind of tell you, um, I have to pick up um, our girls from Car Rider Line, so I'll probably just divulge how the day went then, because I'll have some time on my hand, because it takes a while. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. 
it's not like I forget every year how crazy the first day is, but I think my body forgets. My mind does not forget, my body forgets. So I am in my daughter's car rider line and I am picking her and my best friend's daughter up because she is the coach, um, the soccer coach, and so she can't. And I'm sweating from anything you can think of. Head to toe, the clothes are just holding the juices in because I am dying. And my air is on full blast and it's still, I think we had like a heat wave come through. Uh, it is now the end of the day if you didn't get that. I'm sorry, my communication is just, I'm tired. Which we all are on the first day of school. This is why I have my Alani. Um, the Dream Float, superior flavor. Comment below if you drink Alani's. If you're my heart doctor, just fast forward this part. I do only drink half of it and then I save the half for the next day. So I do the mini cans, but they don't have this flavor in the mini can and it's my favorite flavor. It's like orange dreamsicle. And our oldest son is in town. So we're gonna do a cookout tonight. So that is why, cause typically on the first day, I'll just go home and just crash on the couch or the bed. So we have um, a cookout tonight with him. So I am pumping myself up, getting caffeine, all the things. All right, let's talk about first day, <laughs> which is probably why you're here. Um, so any day is crazy. Any first day is crazy. That's just how it rolls. No matter how prepared you are, let me let me just tell the first year teachers. No matter how prepared you are, there will be something you forget. There will be something that throws a loop into things and it will feel like you are a chicken with your head cut off. It is okay. Say it with me. It is okay. Because veteran teachers like me, this is my 11th year, and yes, I prepare with everything. I over plan for the first day. I make sure I have all my ducks in a row. I have all my dots and my T's crossed. Did I say that the right way? I don't know. It was still crazy. Because it's, at least for us, we are the youngest grade in a middle school. So they are transitioning from elementary to middle school. They are overwhelmed. They are exhausted. They are overstimulated. They are lost. And so we have to just teach them everything. Procedures, where the bathrooms are, where the cafeteria is, where their specials are. Um, what does it look like to walk in our hallway kind of thing? Um, so I'm sure for the other grades, it's not as crazy because they're, they've been at the school for years. So for, for us, we're literally teaching everything. Um, so that part of it, just know that you are not alone. You can be, be as prepared as can be, and there's still, it, you still feel crazy. Um, lunch times, getting them to specials, procedures, kind of adapting to the new kids, them adapting to the class. It's just a lot. So you're not alone. Or if you're going into your first year, it's okay if your first day is chaos. It doesn't mean that that is a precursor to your year, I promise you. I've had some bad first days, and this was not a bad first day. I've had some really bad first days, and I'm like, great, this is what this year is going to be? No. I actually had a really good year that year. Um, so it was not a bad first day at all. There's a few friends that I had to remind them, what does it look like when a teacher's talking? Um, we're not going to interrupt, and we're not going to, you know constantly make jokes when I'm trying to give directions. So there was a lot of chatty, chatty students this year, which is great. I would 100% rather have a chatty class than a class that just stares at me. Um, but it's all about reining that energy in. And so I know the first couple weeks are just an adapting period, 
and we're gonna just have to get used to we want uh, one another and figure out um, what that looks like so that was really the biggest takeaway is there are some kids that I definitely need to move seats because they cannot be successful where they're sitting at right now um, which is always telling so put them let them pick their own seats the first couple days because then you can take notes and you can know who and who can sit next to who and who can't sit next to who um, Lunchtime, I actually got them there on time. We have new lunch times this year, and I, got, I actually got them there on time, which I was very proud, and I picked them up on time. Um, specials was crazy. I think I reiterated that when I was talking a mile a minute, um, where we have first planning. They go to specials right after our homeroom. Well, we didn't have homeroom because we kept them in the gym. And then we told them what specials they were going to. Again, mind you, these kids have not been in our school before. And so we had to tell them where their specials was, who their special teachers were, and um, guide them in that. So that took a while. So that took pretty much half of our planning, which is fine. The first day, you know, there was one year we got like 10 minutes for lunch because it was so crazy. Um, so after that, all the teachers went up and we did name cards um, just on cardstock we had them fold them and then I wrote well all of us wrote our kids just our homeroom first and last name and then um, they traveled with those name tags and put them on their desk and they got to decorate them so that each class so all of us teachers can start to put a face to a name and so that helps since we have like over a hundred um, kids to remember names um then we went through our classes and so today I really got through just a few things I talked about um expectations procedures of coming into class how we line up what you need to do when you walk in which is look at the board for directions and um if it's bell work then you know just follow the directions on the board and I talked about homework, what that will look like. And um, then we did a game, which was like a get up, move around the room kind of game, a this or that game. So it had, and I'll link it below in case you haven't started school yet, but I found it on Teacher Pay Teacher. I think it was for free. And it was just um, two choices. So like one was math all day, reading all day. And so they went to the left side of the room for math all day, or if they preferred reading all day, they went to the right side of the room summer winter same thing they chose the side of the room that they preferred um so that got them up and moving around which is important because they are stagnant when they just sit and are stagnant all day and just hearing rules and expectations all day that can um they just kind of zone out and so this kind of gets them up moving around and then i had a little bit of time to start our taco about me that i've done for the past i don't know five years and i'll link that below as well um, but it is a cute resource where they write an about me page and it says taco about me and they choose a taco and they decorate it and they cut it out and then I tape it above their little about me sheet. Hopefully that's not right. Um, so they did that. They only started on the about me sheet. They didn't even color the taco or anything like that. That's probably what we're going to finish tomorrow. And that is all I did in class. Like we have our 60 minute classes and to get through roll, how are you getting home? Let's go use the restroom and expectations in that, that took up 60 minutes. Um, my first class, we didn't even get to the taco, which is fine. And my last class is actually my homeroom. So I start with my homeroom for 15 minutes, they go to specials, and then I don't see them until the last class of the day. And so we uh, have intervention after that class. And so uh, we did not go to in intervention yet because we, you know, we haven't done a diagnostic to where they need to go for that. So they stayed with us. So we had them for two hours. 
almost two hours. And that gave us time to, to do supplies, to set up their binder, uh, organize, you know, everything for each class. So I got all their composition notebooks where they need to go, graph paper, um, I got their binder set up. We do a Snapchat folder. Um, and I'll put a picture of it right here, but it's their take home folder. We're in middle school, so we kind of make it sound a little bit more middle school than uh, a homework folder or a take home folder. So I just printed them out on the labels and it just says Snapchat folder. And basically it's a snapshot of your child's day. So you can have an opportunity to chat about it with your families at the end of the day. And so uh, I, printed them all out, gave them to my team. And so all typically we've written Snapchat folder on the front. I was like, nah, we're gonna make this easier. <laughs> uh, just took that label and slapped it on their folder. And that is their Snapchat folder for the week or for the year. And so I told them their homework tonight was to show their parents their Snapchat folder. And then inside of it was a big packet from our office that has like forms that they need to fill out. Um, so that is their only homework tonight and we get to do it all over again. Hopefully the air in the car is not too loud. I'm sure it's not the best sound in the world. This is all I got because like I said, I'm picking up the girls, which this car ride line takes forever. I literally have moved maybe 10 feet. Um, what was I saying? Uh, and then I'm going to go back to the classroom because my classroom is a mess. Fix that so I don't come into it tomorrow like that. And then Isaiah has football till 515. Pick him up and then go home, do the cookout, and then hopefully crash. So, yeah. Comment below if you have started school and how it went. If you have started, what was your first day like? If you haven't started, when do you start? And what does your typical day look like for your first day of school? Um, for those of you that are first year teachers, let me know. I love talking to first year teachers. They have such joy and excitement that I think us veteran teachers need. Um, but hopefully this was helpful. I'm going to be doing more videos, so be on the lookout. Um, sorry this video was chaotic crazy, but it is what it is for your first day of school, right? Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll get the girls soon. I can get back and start working on the classroom.